Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Printer Vlog. This is your host Michael and today we are going to be finishing up the Z-axis. Going to be putting in the uh, Acme lead screws along with stepper motors. And I'm probably going to be putting in the rest of the stepper motors and hopefully getting to the uh, top belt train for the X and Y axis here. Let's get in here. You have almost line this axis. Got it straightened up this way here. Basically, good little tip for measuring this is I took my depth gauge and I ran this pretty much. Yeah, I ran it about down here and measured, of course, the depth all the way to there. And then I subtracted that. Let's see here. And I subtracted from the bar to the middle of this uh, axis here. And then I, of course, I measured from point to point on the uh, stepper motor mount. And then I sub or divided that by two. And of course, I measured from this to this. And of course, added that half number from this measurement here and of course I just adjusted this based on how far it needs to go marked a good old line don't know if you can see that all too well because of the crappy lighting see a fine etch number right there just etch that in with my scribe and then I lined it up accordingly so that's what I'm doing right now just getting those two bits lined up and of course it's gonna get the motors put in Yeah, I'm a little bit off here. Not to worry. Let's get our focus set up right. There we go. Okay. How she look? Okay, I need to drop a little bit. I think I'm gonna adjust the travel rate on this by a little bit. Once we get everything adjusted right. Okay, so. What I have just learned is that all that accurate measurement doesn't really, uh, isn't really necessary because in the end game, due to flex and other characteristics, discrepancies between these two uh, axes here, or between these two bits of frame rail, there really is a whole lot of other difference going on. Let's get everything going a little bit um, closer here. So we can dial in the adjustment a little bit easier. But um quarter way between or about a third be good. I'm gonna get this close. Okay, that's pretty square. That's pretty close there. And you loosen two bolts first, get them loosened up. Get the top bolt, bottom bolt, brace for it to fall down on you. And get it threaded in. I do these uh, sink or these Allen bolts here. Let's get it eyeballed. Tighten a couple of screws here. Okay, that's pretty much about it. You just have to uh, get everything lined up with the approximations here. This is pretty much it. This flex joint that'll give you plenty of uh, work, wiggle room or enough wiggle room to have any sort of discrepancies. Once you do have it dialed in, you want to make sure that these sh these two shafts are uh, basically touching each other inside, which will essentially uh, negate any of the flexibility of the actual uh, flex shaft here or the uh, flex coupling. However, it will ensure the stability when the actual uh, nozzle presses. If it presses down the bed, it won't depress it as much, which won't cause any, um, which won't cause any, of course, any uh, height discrepancies there during the printing process. So yeah, the goal is to get everything as tight and accurate as possible with reducing any sort of binding. Which I think we're pretty good on. 
These look pretty decent. So that's good for uh, pretty much got our Z axis taken care of here. Just to kind of get the bed machine, and we're pretty much ready to go with that aspect of it. The build. Okay, so got this first stepper motor mounted here. So I'm gonna get that other motor mounted, and I'm probably gonna get the extruder motor just mounted next here. We'll work on the belt train. Probably gonna wrap it up over here soon though, because it is getting a bit late. I have installed our front motors. They are good to go. So got the uh, Core XY, XY motors, and of course the uh, extruder motors taken care of. And I got the uh, Z things here. One problem is that the uh, clearance on this is pretty terrible. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a bit of an issue. So what I'm gonna do uh, is pretty much the uh, pretty the best solution would be just to print out a new one of these blocks, but time's of the essence. So I'm probably just going to either uh, space it with washers, or I'm just gonna print off some sort of spacing plates or standoffs for these screws here, so that I can just. Uh, lower this motor a bit because I do have a bit of clearance thanks to these huge uh, feet so yeah I got a fair bit of clearance more than enough to clear everything up there hopefully I might have to get another vent or uh, raise that a little bit too but we'll figure it out I'll get it taken care of yeah now that I'm looking at this here definitely gonna have to raise that air vent a bit just because it doesn't clear the nozzles proper. I think the main issue with everything is that I'm going off of like two different printer designs at least for that particular part of the assembly. Also another issue is the, uh, the screw for the idler is on the wrong side. It's supposed to be over here when it's actually all the way over there. Fortunately I have to, re I have to pretty much rip out this whole axis when I go to replace the uh, the shims and these bearing or these wheels so I'll do I'll take care of all of that and one fell swoop so there we go that's our progress we are moving along quite swimmingly here and I'll see you all later